What's up guys? Hey, not the usual spot I do my videos. As you can see, I am in my office at home. We did make it back to Kentucky this morning. Uh, it was actually closer to noon. Anyway, uh, we drove straight through the night, rushed back here as quick as we could to essentially get Homer put back in the shop and figure out what happened at the Freedom Factory. Um, as you've seen just before I got on here, Homer's engine just completely exploded. Um, racked my brain all the way home on what happened. Uh, let me set the stage for you real quick how yesterday went down. Uh, Homer was just a bear yesterday. Uh, he was loading heavy, as you've seen in the video. Uh, the stack just was blowing black smoke. Could not get the fuel to burn down as quick as I wanted to. It was just flooding the cylinders. It was, it was just, he was not happy. Dialed the, the carburetors down as far as I could literally get them to go without shutting down. Um, it was a mess. Nevertheless, he was happy at full throttle. If I mashed the pedal, he was ready to eat. As you've seen at the beginning of the burnout, once I was staged, Adam dropped his hand and said, have at it. I hammered down and man, he was ready to go. And then we got, what, two, three seconds in and then just kaboom, everything completely fell apart. So, catch you up to right now. We were coming home and I just could not figure out, for the love of God, what went wrong, right? What caused all that? The burst plate was blown, which it's there, that's what it's there for, right? Um... I'm thankful we put the blower harness on now. I was really not going to do that. And I'm extremely happy I did. I, I mean, that could have really hurt somebody. Especially with all of our supporters, friends, um, you know, spectators and everybody around. So, anyway, back to the story. So, once I got home, it kind of dawned on me that yesterday when we was leaving, when I was wrapping the... Uh, the blower hat back up in my stacks one of my stacks flaps was missing okay whatever they usually blow off they did at Bristol I lost both of them but I only lost one at the Freedom Factory so wrapped it up never gave much thought to it well a lot of you out there are sending me videos of this engine explosion different angles and it's cool and I love it keep sending them it's awesome I'll use them somewhere down the line but I just received one about a half an hour ago from a buddy. Uh, and he'll know who he is once he once I flip this camera around. And I think I figured out what caused all of this mess. And it, it was, if this is what it is, and I'll find out as soon as I tear this engine down tomorrow, uh, was absolutely the most avoidable problem ever. Um, I could have removed these flaps and took them off. Got rid of them. Never put them on there again. Um, I'm not going to put them on there this way ever again now. I'll weld them on permanent. Um, but anyway, I'm going to show you what I think went wrong. And I will be able to confirm that tomorrow when I pull this engine down. And it's sad that probably a 10 cent part just cost me a $25,000 engine. So, yes, it's disappointing. You know, it is what it is. It's, it's what I tell them. Telling everybody on... YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, you know, all those pages, you know, they're, you know, like, man, that sucks, Chris, we're sorry, you know, I appreciate that, but it's just part of the game, I know what I'm getting into when I do this, I'm like any other racer, any other competitor, anybody else in motorsports, crap happens, it is what it is, you know, the risk going in, so let me flip you around, we're going to play this video really slow, and then I'll back up and show you what I think happened, and we'll go from there, because I know I've received probably no less than 100 messages, PMs, emails, all this jazz regarding Homer today on what happened. Um, and we, I mean, especially myself, I went super slow, or as slow as I could on this build to make sure that everything was going to run perfect. He was running rich, yes, um, but it shouldn't have caused this. So let me flip you around, we'll show you what we got. Okay, I'm going to try to hold this as still as I possibly can to show you. Let me back this all the way up to the front of the run. 
Okay, so I'm going to play this at half speed. What I want you to do is pay attention to this area right here. Okay, right there, watch. There he goes, starting to light his tires, running good, and boom. Did you see it? Did you see that shiny thing come falling out, down, and around? Well, if you notice up here, this tractor flap is here. This tractor flap is not. Sorry, my finger's blurring the screen. So let me play this one more time for you. So we'll back this all the way back up as soon as I find out where it's at. Okay, here we go again. Okay, lighting the tires. Everything's running good. You notice he's not black smoking anymore. And then, boom, that big explosion. Like, what in the world just happened? So here's going to play again. Okay, let me get my pause button ready. Well, pause a little too soon. Right there. It just fell out from underneath the bumper. So here's what I think happened. And I'm just being honest with you. And it lines up just about perfect with that explosion of the engine. The bolt that was holding this tractor flap on failed. So the tractor flap just fell down, bounced off the headers, bounced off my tire or the, uh, the cross member here. And then hit on the hit the ground, and then I kind of run over it. But there's no bolt. Here's what I think happened. I think this bolt failed, fell down inside the stack itself, ding dangled, ding dangled, ding dangled down through, fell in, got caught by a piston, and then the engine exploded. Now, full transparency, when we pulled the spark plugs out on this side of the engine. It poured out like a water hose. Something is severely damaged over here, right? Over here, not so much. This is fine. I think all of this flame was caused by that burst panel bursting, shooting all that boost, all that fuel, all that oil, all that jazz out, hit the stack, caught it on fire, which created the plume. My thoughts are that when this failed, that bolt fell straight down the stack got sucked into the engine, and caused the explosion. Now, let me play it again, and you watch it and tell me what you think. Here we go. Now, we won't be able to confirm any of this until the engine's tore apart, but I'd be willing to bet a dollar to a donut that this is what caused Homer's engine to fail. If you take the timing from the time that this flap falls to the time you think it would take that bolt to flop around down in that stack, it's pretty close to the exact same time. Here we go. All right, falls off, hits the ground, I take off, boom. I truly think that bolt got sucked into the engine itself and caused that, that engine to fail. And it just drives me nuts. I mean... He was running super rich at the beginning, but our theory on, and that's the reason I took the hat off. It was to allow more air into the engine until I could dial that in a little bit better. Because granted, this was never tested before we left. It was started on the trailer for a couple of videos for you guys, and that was about it. Um, but he was ripping it around the guard. He wasn't smoking anymore. It was sucking the fuel. It was sucking the air. Everything was jiving. I mean, we were just flat roasting those tires, getting ready to go in for an epic tip in. That flat failed. I believe that end, that bolt fell down in the engine, and the rest is history. Boom. All said and done. So again, all the proof will be in the pudding tomorrow when I take this engine apart. Um, completely preventable on my part. Completely avoidable. Um, to be honest with you, I come in ace and not running stacks on Homer anymore, but it's kind of like Homer's thing, right? I mean, he's always had them. Uh, you know, the tractor flappers have always been there. It's kind of cool. People get a kick out of it. I just need to come up with a better way to prevent this from happening again. Uh, you know, you can only take so many hits like this before you can't take the hits anymore. 
Um, and it's, it's so unfortunate. We put so, I mean, we put a lot of time in it. I mean, I get it. You know, we worked on it the process of over what, nine weeks, but that's just, you know, nine weeks times, you know, Saturdays and Sundays. So it's technically probably right around 19, 20 days from start to finish to build that car and, uh, to run it for two seconds and it explodes just crazy. But anyway, I wanted to offer up my theory on this. Um, obviously I'm going to do videos on taking the engine back apart, seeing what happened and, uh, seeing if we can find what ultimately happened. Obviously the engines hurt. I'm hoping the blower didn't suck a bunch of metal up in it. I, I really hope that didn't happen. Um, but we had to be at Indy. We have to leave for Indy for the next burnout rivals in 25 days. Uh, and I think... Right around 16 or 17 of those 25, I got to work. So I've got essentially eight days to pull this car apart, get the engine rebuilt, put the car back together, test it, and send it to Indy to run. But, uh, you know, it is what it is. We haven't missed one to date. With it. We've missed one Cletus and Nance cars, and that's because I was sick. I do not want to miss any more of those. But anyway, I appreciate you guys watching. I just wanted to offer you up some kind of reason uh why homer exploded like he did because i know a lot of you come yesterday to see him run uh come and met us and uh, i didn't get to meet near as many of you as i wanted to simply just because we were fighting the car um but it is what it is there's always next time right so i'm gonna get after it keep going keep digging i appreciate you watching and uh, we'll catch you next time brg out Oh, come on, don't blow up. <laughs> oh. Oh. I wanted him to do the run up. That was a nice Push off the starting line here of the tidbit of the burnout pit here at the Freedom Factory.